Welcome again to the Stage Light Light Lab. Today we're going to discuss how not all ideas have to be revolutionary. In fact, sometimes they can look exactly the same. On this side, we have a traditional steel color frame, and on this side, we have a new lighter weight aluminum color frame. Now, the traditional steel color frame has some heft to it. On the off chance that it should fall from the grid, that could be pretty dangerous. We wanted to see how the new aluminum color frame would hold up if we dropped it from the grid on, say, someone's head. Here is our own stage light version of ballistics gel. It's got some give to it, um, but you can't poke straight through it. It should have the same consistency of hitting a human skull if you were to drop a color frame off the top of a grid. Let's see what happens if we actually do it. Oh, just a clumsy rigger. Whoa! Trying to put this color frame. Oh no! Oh. Every time. Dang it. What? Yeah, that was a direct hit. Oh well. The problem is it's so lightweight that it flutters before it hits the ground. It's one of the worst lethal weapons I've ever thrown from the sky. Well, the new lightweight color frame was pretty disappointing if you want to use it as a weapon. Let's see how the old color frame holds up. Well, one thing's for sure, the old color frame is a lot more accurate. Well, we've got ourselves a pretty bad gash right here. Uh, it's going to require a few stitches. Just dropped this off the top. Come take a look at this. We've got ourselves a pretty nasty cut going right in here. You can see directly where the corner went straight into the ballistics gel. That's more than a headache, I would say. Um, and it's going to take a little bit more than aspirin to fix that one. Uh, most of the time that we tried to drop the new lighter weight color frame, it just fluttered to the side. And when it did hit, it bounced right off with no problems at all. So, definitely the safer bet, lighter weight will flutter to the ground and even if it does hit you, it's probably only going to leave a little bit of a bruise, not a giant gash.